What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So we're back out in the Australian mangroves again today. And if you haven't guessed, we're looking for mud crabs. One of my favorite things to do is come out here into the mangroves and try and track down these big mud crabs, catch them and cook them on the fire. Now, as soon as we got down here, I spotted the first muddy of the day. It was just sitting out the front of its hole, shot back into it. So I tried to get my hand in there because what you have to do is reach your hand way back in these holes without trying to lose a finger. And yeah, I'll roll you the clip. <laughs> There's so much mud in there. The crab's definitely in there somewhere, but this hole could go back a couple meters, so I just can't get him out. That's all right, we're gonna keep looking. The tide's still coming up, but pretty cool way to start the adventure, man. Getting straight into it. Tide's coming up at the moment. In about an hour's time, it'll be too high to find these mud crabs because the water normally gets really murky around here. So we're gonna start walking around, try and catch some dinner and cook it up on the bank. So let's get into these mangroves and see if we can find some giant mud crabs. So what we're looking for is big holes in the ground that these mud crabs can be sitting in. They can be found out in the mangrove sometimes, just sitting in the mud, but that's most likely where we're gonna find some big ones today. I know a couple mud crab holes that hold big crabs just over that way, so we're gonna head over there now and see if we can find any. Run in. Oh look, see that? Yeah. We just spooked a muddy into this hole. <laughs> These holes go back so far. It's actually crazy. <sighs> Can't find anything. We'll go for a We'll keep walking. Big muddy, right there. You see him, Kurt? Do you see him? Yeah. He is massive. Now, we've just spotted him. I don't think he's seen us yet. So we're just creeping up on this huge mud crab right here. Got to make sure that he doesn't have a hole nearby. All right, I'm gonna get around the back. That is one of the biggest mud crabs I have ever caught. You gotta make sure that he doesn't get me. You wouldn't wanna get tagged by one of those big claws. Take a look at that, mate. Big Aussie mud crab out here in the mangroves. Look at the size of that claw. That is awesome. So this is exactly what we came out to the mangroves to find. And that's gonna be enough dinner for me and my mate, but we might keep hunting around after this, see what else we can catch. So cool coming out to the mangroves and catching a feed like this. Now you've gotta put in the hard yards, you have gotta put in the effort to try and get these crabs. I am literally covered in mud right now, head to toe, but it's so worth it. So fun getting out here, getting out into nature, having these experiences and catching your own food. You can see this claw over here is this big powerful claw. And this one's used for cutting up flesh because they're scavenger feeders. They're not out here necessarily hunting. They're out here in the mangroves looking for things that they can feed on, they're opportunistic feeders. So if a fish dies, if a stingray dies, if a mud crab dies, they will eat it. But I reckon what we're gonna do now is the tide is rising noticeably as we're walking around here and the water is very murky. So we won't be able to see the crabs in there soon. It's actually so cool because we just found that mud crab hole over there and now we've got another mud crab about 10 meters away from it. They're out, they're in here, in the mangroves. We're gonna put this fella over on the bank and keep on hunting, try to get a couple more. So 
So just before we caught that crab, we saw a mud crab shoot down this one. Now I'm gonna try to do this all in one take. Might take a while to get him, but just to show that it's real. So you put your hand just under the mud. And you feel around and yep, there's shell. This is an all right size crab, eh? And you needed to determine which way the crab is facing. All right, got him. Yes! Look at that right there. That was the mud crab sitting down that hole. And we did it in one take. Look at, he's trying to go back into it. You're not getting back down there, mate. <laughs> take a look at that. Second mud crab out here in the mangroves. How good is that? We've got a big feed for lunch. Now I've been coming out here into the mangroves since I was about 10 years old. I've always been so fascinated with coming out here and catching crabs with my bare hands, tracking them down. And it's good to see in a place like this that is an overcrabbed area that you can still get big crabs in here. But that's absolutely awesome, mate. You can see the tide behind us coming up. We've got a feed of crabs. What do you reckon, Curto? I reckon we eat them. Eat them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro. Might go for a bit more of a walk around the mangroves and then cook up these crabs later on. A successful mud crab hunt out here in the mangroves. Can't get any better than that. So these are big Australian mud crabs that have been caught out here in the mangroves. And this is where they live in these mangrove ecosystems. It holds life for so many species. You go just out there to the main channel, there's stingrays, so many fish. And what that means is there's a lot of food that you can eat if you were ever out here and needed to catch food. These guys are probably my favorite things to eat out here. And just to show you where they live, well, you've seen us where we're catching them, but these big holes down in the mud there's actually another crab living down in this one at the moment. Sometimes these holes can go back meters at a time. And this is what's living in them. <laughs> Pretty crazy. This mud crab is absolutely massive. Like, look at the size of that claw. But yeah, we've came out here to the mangroves. We've caught some mud crabs. It's been really cool. Now we're gonna go find a place to cook them up. I'm heading out west in a few days and what I'm gonna be doing out there is catching and cooking a bunch of red claw crayfish. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys taste compared to them. But yeah, keen to get back out to the outback and get that video out for you. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that. All right. So we just came down to this little freshwater creek. This is where we're gonna be cooking up these mud crabs. We're just gonna make a little fire, cook them in the coals, eat them down the creek and continue the adventure. So what we're doing now is we're just waiting for this fire to die down into coals and that's when we'll chuck these muddies on, cook them for about 20 minutes, flip them over, do the other side. But yeah, super hot today. Might go for a swim in the creek while I'm here. Gotta wash all this mud off from the mangroves. It's still all over my face. Why not? Look how nice this creek is though. Made the fire just up there. We'll go back and chuck the muddies in. So we'll just chuck these big muddies on their back in the coals. Chuck the 
this one like that and we'll leave them they'll start to turn red almost straight away you'll see it slowly coming up the side of the crab and you want that full orangey red color once they're cooked all right so the crabs are ready we're just going to chuck them out We'll put them out to the side for now and we're just going to cook up a little sauce to go with them. Chuck that on there with a bit of butter in it. Chuck some lemon in there. Alright, let's go down to the creek and eat them. Number two. Good. Cooked right? Alright. Let's try it. All that. It feels really cool and you feel really connected with the earth when you can actually go out and catch your own food yourself instead of buying it from a shop or something. And yeah, there's so much food out there in the wild that you can catch and track down if you know what to look for. I think after this, we might even go looking for some bunion nuts, which are a type of bush tucker, make a little fire back home and cook them up as well. But yeah, not bad. So I just wanted to say I really appreciate all the support and all the comments that I'm getting on these videos. Lately, I've really been grateful that I can come out here into the wild every week and film these experiences and find these animals. And by you guys commenting and telling me how much I inspire you, you guys inspire me to go outside and find these animals. And lately I've just been really driven to travel, go to different places, find different animals. I'm going to the outback in a couple days to go film some videos out there. Sumatra or Borneo later on in the year to hopefully film orangutans. And yeah, just thank you so much for that. I really appreciate all the support. Coming back, watching my videos. There's gonna be a lot more cool adventures that I'm posting every week. So make sure you stay tuned for them. But yeah, that's it for another video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you legends next week in the next adventure. Cheers.